Hi folks, this is uh, my second try at this. Uh, I'm going to be doing the Crack SAT number two. Uh, this is their test that they have on their website uh, for um, multiple choice. Anyway, uh, number I'm going to do it really quick. So number one says, if seven times a number is 84, what is 4 times the number? So divide by 7, and you get x is equal to 12, and we multiply by 4, and we get x equals 48. So that's number 1, and we put the answer in. And you'll notice I like to write down things. Uh, now, I like number 2 because what it is is it's asking you to solve not for a variable, but for a variable expression. So I have 3x equals 12. Now the trick here is to divide by x on both sides, and what you get is 3 is equal to 12 over x. But what I want is 24 over x. So how do I make this look like 24 over x? And what I do is I multiply by 2. And sure enough, I get 24 over x is equal to 6, and I'm all done. That's solving for an expression. Number three, which of the following shows a strong positive association between x and y? There doesn't appear to be any association at all here. A positive association would be a positive slope, and the points would be more or less in a line. So we're looking for maybe a linear uh, association. Uh, this is a strong negative correlation, more or less, association. Uh, number three looks like more or less uh, kind of almost zero. It's a very slow increase. But this one is a very strong positive correlation. So I would go with D and be done with it. I, I, the best fit line would go through there. It would have a positive slope, yada, yada, yada. Hopefully that makes sense to you. Number four, it says, if the square root of x plus 22, it's a little off center, is equal to 38, I just subtract 22, and I get the square root of x is equal to uh, 16. Now, a lot of people are going to take the square root of both sides, but that's not what they want. They do not want you to take the square root. They want you to square both sides. And x is equal to 256, which is the square of 16. And that's what we were looking for on that one. Now, number five is a little tricky. It says if each of the following each of the numbers in the following sum were increased by t, the new sum would be 4.22. What is the value of t? Well, we ended up adding 2 to this. No, we didn't. Uh, excuse me. So I'm going to take number 5. I'm going to take 4.22, and I'm going to subtract the 2.74 from it. Now, got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, I have to borrow and that's going to give me an 8, and I still have to borrow, and that is 4 and 1, 1 1.48. But keep in mind that we're adding t to every one of these. So this is equal to 4t, and I'm going to divide by 4, and t is going to be equal to 0.3. 4 goes into, uh, let me, uh, uh, that's going to be 28, that's 0.37. So 0 0.37. We're allowed to use a calculator on this, so it would have been a little bit faster. But there you have it. Uh, last one. Uh, this is number six, and it says, if 4 to the x times n to the second equals 4 to the x plus 1. Well, hopefully you know that 4 to the x times 4 to the first is equal to 4 to the x plus 1. Then we know that n squared equals 4. And you should know what that is. Of course, we're talking about 2. And we will submit. I answered all the questions. And, of course, we got them right. Let's take a look. What? No, I didn't. Let's take a look at it. They might have made a mistake or something. <laughs> what is the value of n? n is equal to 2. If x equals 2, then what are they saying? I'm so confused. 
2 squared times 4 to the x equals 4 to the x plus 1. Uh, that is not correct. They got it wrong. So the correct answer is A, which is 2. Don't know where they got the 4 from. I'm trying to figure out what they're talking about. But uh, they messed it up. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys got it right. Uh, I don't know why they put this. They said it's question number 10, but it's actually question number 6 for them. Anyway, hopefully you got it. And I will see you back here uh, one more time to explain this. Yes, 4 to the x times 4 to the first is 4 to the x plus 1. But what they wanted was 4 to the x plus 1 equal to 4 to the x and n to the second power. And there it is right there. And so the n has to be the 2. I don't know where they got this from. Anyway, have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>